Spring is in the air, and if you're new here, my name is Caitlin, and welcome to the AFI Lab. If you're a longtime viewer, thank you for joining us for another how-to. Keep watching to see how we make this fresh and floral linen spring just in time for the season. This spray starts off with a water base, as it won't leave any stains on your linens. Because of this, we need to use a preservative. I'll be using Optifin Plus. Stir well to distribute the preservative into the water, and then we can set aside the mixture for now. As you may know, most fragrances are oil-based, meaning that they are not easily blended with water. As such, you'll need a surfactant to help reduce the surface tension between the oil and water molecules in order for them to mix. For our linen spray, we will be using a combination of PEG40 hydrogenated castor oil and polysorbate 80 to solubilize the fragrance. Combine the two and then you can add the violet tulip fragrance oil. Stir these three ingredients very thoroughly. This part is crucial. The more you stir, the better. Add your water into the fragrance and surfactant mixture bit by bit and mix well with a stirring rod to incorporate until everything is combined. Now we just need to package it up. The packaging container that I've picked has a fine spray nozzle that will easily disperse the product across sheets, furniture, and into the atmosphere of your home. With the lid screwed on, our project is complete. We hope this how-to helped you make your very own linen spray. This sweet floral fragrance makes this the perfect project for spring. It only costs us about $2 to fill this whole 16 ounce bottle, meaning it can be sold wholesale three to $4 and retail six to $8, depending on the fragrances and additives you use. If you wanna check out more videos like this one, head on over to our channel and give our whole how-to playlist a watch. Subscribe and ring that bell icon to support the AFI family, and we'll have new content coming your way in no time. I'm Caitlin, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.